To ensure long life and proper operation of a heat pump, the refrigerant line set must be free of any non-condensable gases, oxygen, water vapor, or airborne contaminants that could have been introduced during installation and brazing. Clearing the system of liquid and solid contaminants should involve purging them with nitrogen, performing a refrigerant flush, and occasionally using foam pucks. Foam pucks are also referred to as pigs, which are most commonly used when reusing an existing line set. These clean the inside of the line set while being pushed through it by the compressed nitrogen. After the line set is cleared and pressure is tested, technicians will vacuum the system to 500 microns or less. This removes any remaining moisture and contaminants in the full system and verifies there are no leaks. Note that these procedures should only be completed by a licensed refrigeration technician certified by the EPA. When preparing to pull vacuum, technicians must verify the system is sealed and not under any pressure. They should also use the core removal tools to remove the Schrader valves from the service ports. Removing the Schrader valves reduces restriction and allows installers to quickly pull a deep vacuum. The attachment location of the micron gauges is important. For the most accurate readings, it's best practice to attach your micron gauge as far from the vacuum pump as possible. Once the target hits 500 microns, it's time to use the valves on the core removal tools to isolate the circuit from the pump and wait to see if the pressure rises above 1,000 microns in 10 minutes. When the vacuum decay test is complete, the technician can be sure that this refrigerant circuit has no moisture or contaminants and will operate properly for a very long time. For questions on proper vacuum procedures or heat pump installation best practices, contact your local Comfort Ready Home Field Specialist today.